Hello. Welcome. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you with a heart full of gratitude and reverence. You are the God who created the heavens and the earth. The God who reigns over all creation. Today, we come before you and ask that you reveal yourself to us. As we go through your word, let us come to know you more. Show us your power and your glory even as we study your word. You are the one who sustains us, who protects us, who provides for us. You are the one who guides us, who comforts us, and gives us peace. We give you all the glory and honor that is due to your name. We magnify you, Lord, and exalt your holy name. You are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. The one who is worthy of all praise and adoration. Thank you for your constant presence in our lives. And for your unwavering love and grace. We pray that we may always live to glorify your name. And to serve you with all our hearts, souls and minds. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. I listened to this old song by Don Moen. It is entitled Be Magnified. And the lyrics go like this. I have made you too small in my eyes. O oh Lord, forgive me. I have believed in a lie. That you were unable to help me. But now, O oh Lord, I see my wrong. Heal my heart and show yourself strong. And in my eyes and with my song. O oh Lord, be magnified. As children of God, we sometimes make God look so small. We make him look weak. As if he is incapable of dealing with our challenges. We magnify our problems over and above God. All we see in front of us are our bills, our struggles. We have put God at the corner where we meet him for morning devotion. Then we face our problems again and complain. We cannot trust our God to handle our problems. We are looking at our strength and our wisdom to do that. If you are among such people, then, your God is indeed very small. Daniel 11:32 says. And such as do wickedly against the covenant shall he corrupt by flatteries. But the people that do know their God shall be strong, and do exploits. The people that do know their God shall be strong, and do exploits. Let us look at people who knew their God and hence did exploits. Joshua had just captured Jericho. And the Gibeonites surrendered to him. But five kings of the Amorites came to fight against Joshua. Joshua and his men won the battle. And the massive army of the Amorites fled. But Joshua and his army pursued the Amorites. And it was getting dark because the sun was going down. So Joshua made an outrageous request to God. In Joshua 10 12 to 13 we read. Joshua spoke to the Lord in the presence of Israel. O sun, stand still over Gibeon, O moon, over the valley of Ilone. So the sun stood still and the moon stopped until the nation took vengeance upon its enemies. Joshua requested that the sun and moon stand still. Until he had avenged his enemies. And God granted his request. The people that do know their God shall be strong, and do exploits. God was willing to disrupt the cosmic equilibrium of time. For a man who placed such radical faith in him. And he will do the same for you. For I am the Lord, I change not, therefore ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Malachi 3 6 this same God is here with you today. He will move the balance of nature. To show himself strong on your behalf. Have you made him too small in your eyes? Consider David. Everyone was afraid of the giant Goliath. But David said. The Lord who delivered me from the paw of the lion. And the paw of the bear will deliver me from the hand of this Philistine, 
1 Samuel 17:37. David did not trust the stone or his slingshot. David trusted in the God who had delivered him again and again. David knew the God he trusted. He trusted the God who had delivered him. In his walk in the valley of the shadow of death. He had done it before, and he will do it again. Have you made him too small in your eyes? The people that do know their God shall be strong, and do exploits. The God who gave David victory over Goliath is the same God who will give you victory over the challenges you face today. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, and today, and forever, Hebrews 13 8. Let us talk about Jonathan, and his armor-bearer. Israel and the Philistines were at war. His father, Saul, and his army were resting. Jonathan said to the young man bearing his armor, Come, let us cross over to the outpost of these uncircumcised men. Perhaps the Lord will work on our behalf. Nothing can hinder the Lord from saving, whether by many or by few, 1 Samuel 14 6. Jonathan knew the Lord God Almighty. And God fought for Jonathan and his armor-bearer. He defeated the entire Philistine outpost. Because Jonathan dared to make an audacious request. Have you made God too small in your eyes? The people that do know their God shall be strong, and do exploits. John and Peter met a lame man by the beautiful gate of the temple. John and Peter could not give him money, they gave him something better. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk, Acts 3 6. Have you called on your God for such exploits? The gospel of God has been preached in hostile and violent lands because of people who will take nothing less than God himself. As the sealing of their faith. These are people who see God as their banner, Jehovah Nissi. Leading them to war. This is the kind of faith. Which comes when you know who you are. And the God you serve. God is waiting for such men and women of faith. To dare him to do the impossible. Men and women who know their God. Call on him to do what ordinary men and women say is impossible. God is looking for men and women of faith to stand in the gap for this world. God is looking for courageous men and women who would dare him for the impossible. Souls are heading to hell, while we laze around in our comfortable homes. Hell has opened its mouth wide. While we hide in fear, too scared to ask God for the impossible. How big is your God? Let us pray. Heavenly Father. You are Jehovah Nissi. The Lord our banner. The one who fights our battles and gives us victory. We thank you for your protection and deliverance. For your power and might that enable us to overcome all obstacles. You are El Shaddai the Almighty God, the One who is more than enough, the All-Sufficient One. We thank you for your provision and protection, for your grace and mercy that sustains us in all circumstances. You are Jehovah Jireh, the Lord who provides, the One who sees and meets our every need. We trust in your faithfulness and provision knowing that you will never leave us or forsake us. Because we know you. We shall walk in victory. We shall expand your kingdom by the power of the Holy Spirit. We shall ask the impossible according to your will. Knowing that you will glorify your name in accomplishing the impossible. May your name be exalted and praised forever, O God. May we always remember your many names and the ways in which you reveal yourself to us. We love you and honor you. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen.